And there's new information here tonight at 6 on the seven men accused of agreeing to meet up with a 16 year old for a variety of sex acts. There was no underage girl. There were just all LMPD police officers. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Haley Minogue is taking a closer look at the men now charged with human trafficking and what the police department says about this sting. The seven men arrested and charged with promoting human trafficking and prohibited use of electronics to procure a minor, LMPD says there's one big thing they all had in common. The biggest shock to kind of my senses was they were all dads. Um, and a few of them were, were fathers of fathers of daughters. LMPD tells us 115 individual times they were contacted by people responding to one of the six ads that they posted over two days. A 16 year old, which was the age that we had used for this operation, uh, cannot legally solicit herself for prostitution. So that's where the human trafficking part falls in. And over 12 times they had eyes on potential perpetrators who ended up driving away from the hotel they set up operations at. But the men who they say came inside were greeted by police. They were female officers. She answered the door, opened it. They exchanged pleasantries. He stepped in and they were instantly apprehended at that point. LMPD doesn't want to release the name of the hotel where the stings happened, but did tell us it's in the 800 block of Phillips Lane, where more than five hotels sit between Kentucky Kingdom, the airport and the Expo Center. It touched home with me and I hope it does with everybody else that this is a real concern. It's a real issue. It's here. LMPD says the sting was funded by a federal grant for a total of $750,000 over a three year period. And this is just year one. Be prepared to see more of these in the future. Investigators are confident the charges will stick and this won't be viewed as entrapment because when someone stops communications with them, they never re-engage. In Louisville, I'm Haley Minogue, WHAS 11 News. Now, one of those accused men is a former jockey, Fabio Argello. He had a long career as a jockey starting back in 1990, but he only retired in 2018. His winnings totaled $23,654,000 throughout all of his years in racing. The biggest win was the 1992 Kentucky Oaks riding Love Me, Love Me Not. Most recently, though, he's been on the board of the Backside Learning Center at Churchill Downs, but officials with Backside said they have now started actions to remove him from their board.